What's up, YouTube? Hmm. Well, this one is kind of hard to explain. One of my favorite YouTubers, his channel name is Eric. He put out this video where he took two of the boosted skateboards and he put them under a bed frame and he made kind of like a go-kart with it. And the whole premise was pretty funny because he asked the question, like, don't you have those days where you don't want to get out of bed? So it resonated with me. But while I was watching this video, I was kind of taking notes on the things that he could do to make it better. Now, it was a nice attempt, but being an engineer, having some experience, even though it's not extensive in fabrication and making motorized stupid stuff, I realized that there was a ton of things that he could have done better. One, he definitely should have used a metal bed frame and he should have found a way to better secure the bed to those boards from what I could tell he basically just set it on top of it and that actually leads me to number two he was using two different boards which means he had two different hands that could go two different speeds number three it needs to be more powerful it needs to be able to burn rubber do burnouts drift even all that stuff that you can't get with tiny wheels made out of plastic hooked to a tiny motor hooked to a tiny battery. Fatality. And that leads me into number four. Electric motors are too quiet. You need a gas engine with a loud exhaust. Otherwise, when you're on your way to whatever you're doing, you're not gonna wake up. Now before you say, no, I like electric motors. They don't make a ton of noise. That's not the point. Also, there's just something fun about a loud motor. And you know it's true. So that's my explanation. Airac, if you ever watch this, thanks for watching, but also take notes, because I'm gonna show you how it's done. <laughs> Let's go. Well, this is something I need to address because it's definitely going to be a question on the mind of anybody that watches this video. What is this thing? Well, when I was trying to figure out how I was going to turn this bunk bed into a go-kart, I realized my two best options are going to be either a golf cart or a lawnmower. Because even golf carts that don't have motors are really expensive, I decided to go with a riding lawnmower. And because I wasn't going to use the same engine that a riding lawnmower has, I decided to go with a riding lawnmower without an engine or one that didn't run because I really didn't want to spend a ton of money on this. Now, at the time that I was looking on Facebook Marketplace, this was the only one that I could find that was really cheap and didn't have a motor because really the only things I needed were the tires, I thought maybe the drivetrain and some of the steering controls. So as interesting as it looks, I'm going to have to cut it apart and use the parts that I wanted to get off of it. This does give me an idea for something in the future just the way that it was done it's it's just never gonna work so i'm gonna start tearing this thing down So it's been a couple months, give or take a month, since I filmed the intro. And this is the state of the bunk bed right now. I've got this thing running right now. Got all my stuff welded up. I've got that frame done. 
I welded it up where it's supposed to bolt together, so we'll see how that holds up. Right here, I have my blankets that I'm gonna put on it. I also got my sheet set right here. Those are the sheets that we're gonna have on there. I was trying to get the cheapest possible sheets that I could because I knew that they were probably going to get semi-ruined and not gonna be used for what sheets are used for. But that sheet set was on sale for like eight bucks for the set. So how was I not gonna buy it for microfiber sheets? Of course I'm gonna buy it. They actually were the cheapest ones. The only thing I have left to do right now is to, I have to get this drum brake hooked up. For like the last three nights I've been working on this stupid brake system. I think I'm finally close enough to actually say that it's gonna be done soon. Right here, when you pull this, it's going to pull the brake cable. And then it's spring return on that so that when you're driving it and you pull backward on this, it's gonna engage the brakes. I have this here that is actually the throttle. So that's how that works. You can see that it's actually pulling the throttle when I'm squeezing this. So that's where it's at so far. It's completely taken apart right now. Next step is just to get these brakes working and then I'll be able to put it back together, put the mattresses back on it, and we should be good to ride it. The other day I wanted to test out the throttle so I actually drove around my neighborhood with no brakes, which is not super safe, but I can tell you that it works and it drives all right. Here it is. Well, this thing looks even more ridiculous than I thought it would. Since it's been a few days already, I've had a chance to drive it up and down the street, test drive it, that video's coming soon. And just the look on people's faces as I drive this by, whether they're like walking their dog or, I've actually had a couple of neighbors walk out and start filming me. Honestly, this is just something that people have never seen before and I love that. So, look forward to seeing more videos about this. I've decided to split this up into a couple different sections. This video is just gonna be the build. In the next video, I'm gonna do a test drive and probably take it to a few places. Right now, I'm thinking maybe more like a gas station to fill up gas and then like through a drive through things like that, get people's reactions. But I'm also open to suggestions. So make sure you put that comment down below. Let me know what I should do with this thing, where I should take it to give people a laugh. Make sure you subscribe so you can check those videos out. And uh, thanks for checking out the video. I'll catch you on the next one. Dirt. Say it again, man, and that's a reverse. Uh, uh, Never rehearse.